to test the function of the tool turret you need to be switched into the man in the manual hand mode so the green neon there is representing hand movements the buttons you press you press and hold the forward button down and whilst at the same time press the numeral for the number of tool, move, tool movements that you want the turret to rotate. So if you press the forward and the one, the turret will rotate one position. So you, you're, you're, root, you're pressing the number that you want the turret to move in tool numbers, in the number of tools, not the actual number of the tool itself. So pressing the forward and the one and releasing allows the turret to move forward one position, one tool position. Show you that on the turret itself. So we'll move it. Uh, we're set up at the moment on one of the 12 by 12 or half inch square tools or whatever it might be. Uh, we'll move it round to one position to bring the to bring this 10 mil round tool into the working position. So let's press forward and then one and release. It goes past it and then drives back onto it. So don't forget that all the time that you've got the tool turret plugged in on your machine and it's switched on you've got power going to the motor uh, to turn it in reverse to lock the tool turret in position so we'll now move it uh, one position more forwards and uh, one Now we'll move it, that's one position, that's two positions, we'll do now three positions, We'll now do four positions, so let's press and hold the forward, press and release the forward and release both switches and it'll, it'll drive forward to four positions, this one, this is the second. You notice it goes back after each tool point, that's three, and this is the fourth. We'll do five. So it's forward, five, and release both buttons, and then it's now going to move five positions, five tool positions. Not to number five tool, but five tool positions. There we are. We'll do six just so that uh, you can see that it will rotate completely. 360 degrees, so that's forward and six. So, just to recap, to manually test, switch the machine into hand control, 
press and hold the F forward button and press the numeral for the number of tool positions you want the tool holder to rotate. Quite straightforward. Thanks for watching.